Hi, I'm John Yablonski. I'm a senior product designer at Mixpanel, and today I'd love to walk you through some exciting new updates that we've been making to our Insights table charts. So we know that tables are a fundamental visualization format for how people like to see their data. And the features that we've just shipped, we believe, will make these tables even more powerful and even more flexible. Now, a lot of times what people are using tables for is to determine the overall health of a segment. The way you used to have to do this is that you would set each metric, set your breakdowns, and then you'd have to scroll the page to really identify the segment you're interested in according to each value. Now we know that this wasn't exactly convenient. With the updates that we've just made, you can now see each metric side by side. And that makes determining the overall health of a segment very easy. So you can simply scan across a row and see each metric value right together. Now, we also see customers that have a large quantity of data really prefer to visualize that data in a compact way. And we know that putting your metrics side by side like this really enable that. This becomes even more powerful when you start using features like compare. Say for example, I wanna get the compare to percentage overall. That's just a few clicks away, and once again, I can see all that data right together. I can also do things like compare to past, and now I see also the current past value across each metric right there together. And I can use things like lift mode to really hone in on very specific data that I need to pay a lot of attention to or specific uh, segments uh, just in a few clicks. Now, side-by-side -side metrics also make it become very helpful when it comes to things like formulas. Now, with the side-by-side -side metrics, I can see it's convenient to look at this really quickly and determine the input metric alongside the formula. So this is now very kind of uh, scannable and I can see how each metric contributed to that output formula overall. Now, the other thing we've done here is we've uh, we've added some additional features to really complement these updates uh, to our table. So now you can see a new and improved uh, sorting system, which enables you to quickly sort a segment by any specific metric. So here you can see I have um, you know, our, my country segment, which I can sort by any one of the metrics that I've set. And additionally, I can also sort it alphabetically, of course, if I'm more interested in that. Now, I have this power across each and every segment, and I can quickly toggle uh, uh, ascending, descending by simply toggling uh, this control off to the right. Now, that's not all that this kind of new and improved sorting system allows for. I can also choose to ungroup my segments and really kind of flatten out the hierarchy overall. What this enables me to really do is see uh, each one of my top performing segments, and then I can sort by any specific metric really easily. So say for here, I want to change it up and say, I wanna sort by the add to cart metric. It's as simple as a few clicks via this new sorting system. Uh, the other thing that we've enabled is uh, to be able to see the overall metric values very quickly here at the bottom. And this is always visible regardless of you know, how much scrolling that you've done throughout your table. And I can also see the segment subtotals across each event. So here I can see Italy and I have a, a value for each metric across that specific segment. Now this just really makes it really quick to see a summary of my data at any given moment. Now, the other thing that we've enabled is uh, really to allow you to answer questions around specific segments, uh, that, my top segments specifically. So here you'll see this top control, and this becomes really valuable if I want to narrow this in to a, a smaller value and see exactly what those top performing segments are. That's not all. We've also enabled you to click into any data point and really dig deeper for example, here I want to view users and I can si simply click into that cell, select view users, and now I see that list very conveniently without losing sight of my data. Lastly, of course, is that you can save this table and it'll show up on your dashboard. 
So prior, you know, tables didn't really show up on your dashboard. You'd have to use a different visualization type. But now I can save my table and it shows up on my dashboard just like it is in your report. So I hope these new features bring you a ton of value and, and you find a lot of great uses out of them. Um, please feel free to check out the uh, Health Center documentation uh, to learn more. And if you have any questions, always feel free to reach out. Thank you.